Okay, Bib Me looks a bit different now, but it still functions in the same way. So here I am going to the bibme.org website and I click on APA because that's what the school wants. Now I'm going to look for a book called Blue Mountains World Heritage. I've typed this in before so I'm cheating a bit. Now I click on search books because I'm in the autofill mode and look at the choices that come up. That first one is the book that I want. So I'm going to click on that and then the details are brought up in a form so I can check to see whether this is the same edition as the one that I am have in the library. And yes, it is. It's got the same title, authors, it's published in Sydney and by the same publisher and year. So I just click on Create Citation. And here we are. The citation is brought up in the middle of the screen now. It's not up in the corner like it used to be. I can click on Copy and Paste. And you can see now my citation is copied to the clipboard. So if I bring up a Word document and go Control V or right click and paste, there is my citation. Now, if I wanted to change the format, I could, but we choose APA so that that's, that's the format that I chose. You can't create an account, a free account anymore, so you will need you will need to pay or use a different service to create an account, an account to have an ongoing bibliography over a number of days, but you can still use that method of doing individual citations which you can then save to a Word document. So that's the way BibMe works now.